Ruby Cornish. Hello. Uh, would you like a cone with ice cream in it? Actually, I'm here for a job interview. Would you like to step into my office? Yep. Yeah, sure. Getting a job might be something that's a fair way off for you. But one day, you will be in the hot seat facing some tough interview questions. So tell me, why exactly do you want to work at Behind the Scoop? Well, firstly, I love ice cream. I love it. Secondly, I have a year's worth of customer service experience. And thirdly, I am a responsible, hardworking employee who always shows up on time. Wow, OK. Thank you. Uh, we'll have you come by tomorrow. But making a good impression involves more than just nailing an interview. There's a good chance your potential bosses will also want to take a look at your digital footprint. That's the information about you that exists in the online world. It includes stuff you've posted, commented on or liked on social media, interactions you've had on forums, and stuff that other people might have posted about you, too. And this info doesn't necessarily disappear just because you decide to delete it. It's very easy for other people to record it or download it before it's gone. OK, Miss Ruby Cornish, what do we have on you? I mean, think about it. Ice cream is just like cold milk with flavouring. Well, well, well. Digital footprints are a relatively new thing. Before the days of social media, the past generally stayed in the past. But that's certainly not the case anymore, and some high-profile peeps have been finding that out the hard way. Recently, in the lead-up to the federal election, a whole bunch of politicians and wannabe politicians were ditched from their parties because of stuff they posted online. These posts were mainly jokes, like memes that they'd shared with their friends a long time ago. But a lot of people found them sexist, racist or inappropriate in other ways. Experts say that should be a lesson for the rest of us who are growing up sharing our lives online. So how do you avoid being brought down by your bad posts of the past? Well, there is one pretty easy way. Don't make bad posts in the first place. When you do go to post or comment or share, ask yourself, is this true? Is it nice? Would I say this to someone's face? Am I being reasonable and respectful? If you think there's any chance that what you're saying could offend someone, or make them think you're a few cents short of a dollar, Hey guys, I just hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, so I am going to down this entire bottle of extra hot mega death chilli sauce. What? Just don't do it. It's not just about good impressions. Experts say digital footprints can be dangerous because they can be traced by people with not so good intentions. They say it's important that stuff like your full name, your age, your address, your phone number and your school stays off the web and that you only let people you actually know add you or follow you. I wanted to hire you, but I just couldn't. Of course, it doesn't mean you can't have a life online, just that you should be careful. You don't even like ice cream so your digital footprint doesn't come back to bite you. But worst of all, this, the anti-cold desserts rally from 2013. Yeah, I guess I should be more careful. But you know what? Everyone deserves ice cream. Mango sorbet? Hold on one sec. Ah, <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh, you just got coned. Instagram is gonna love this. Latest. It's not even mango.